Hello and welcome back to my Unturned Survival Guide series. We are picking up from where we left off in the last episode where the sun went down. We looted a town that is currently behind me and it is night time and I have a flashlight because if I didn't have that on you could can barely see me. So that is why I have that on. A great reason to pick it up if you see a flashlight because well Unless you get a headlamp or a night vision, then uh, yeah, I definitely recommend the flashlight. Anyways, we are picking up from where we left off in the last episode. And a first thing to note that I wanted to mention is that loot does respawn at old places where you've already been. So loot will have respawned back at this town, but I'm not going to actually go back there to loot right now. Maybe another time, but not right now because we want to keep moving and get exciting stuff going on to happen. Uh, that probably made no sense and that's probably not a thing, but we're gonna roll with it anyways because we can. Um, but since it is night time and the moon is in fact rising, if I just lower my thing and actually turn my HUD back on, which you by the way do with uh, using the home key, um, as you can see, the moon is in fact rising and it will go all the way over there, boop, and go down. So, what I think we should do is get a campfire going, just a place to stay for the night. Mainly because that I can't really, I can't do stuff in the night. I can travel and such, but it's gonna be a lot easier in the day and we will be able to see things a lot easier as well. So, we will be covering a little bit of crafting and also how to make travel a... <laughs> a campfire here and how to chop down a tree. This tree looks big. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to open up my inventory and I'm going to grab my fire axe. And I know you can barely see this. I might have to add some brightness uh, effect to the video, but we are just gonna head on over to the tree and start smacking it uh, just like this until it falls. It's gonna be a little while actually a skill that we oh we didn't actually cover skills yet okay this is a great time then to cover skills while it is night time and we want some time to spend so skills are basically points uh sorry experience is basically points that you can use for these skills to make your life easier for example this exercise one use less stamina and move faster this is one of my favorite um also cardio uh quicker stamina and oxygen regeneration um overkill punch and melee with greater force and this is just in the offensive section there's a defense section and then there is a support section as well and they all have different things um some just like this um Sorry, in over here, some just increase your damage, for example, or use less stamina and such. But some are actually um, important when it comes to like crafting or like this one, prepare high quality food. The higher this one is, the better food we will be able to make. Um, or like this one, engineer maintain more advanced blueprints. So, so these are, some of them are more important than others, quote unquote, if you want to actually advance in the stuff that you can make. And then some of them are just like, like damage, melee damage and stamina. And like this one, jump higher with, you with less stamina and stuff like that. But one that we will be using, I believe it is in the defense. No, it's going to be in the support. Uh, it is going to this one outdoors, chop down trees faster. I'm actually going to use 10 experience in that one. Um, use healing items more efficiently. One that I absolutely love. I'm actually going to use that right now as well. Um, I'm going to use quick stamina and oxygen regeneration, the same with exercise. Um, I'm not going to use parkour, I am actually going to go into defense and bump Sneaky Beaky up. And this one is lowered in price because I have the thief skill set, which I covered in the character customization tutorial that I did. So be sure to go ahead and do uh, check that out if you haven't already, but I'm going to Bump up sneaky piggy, move more quiet and alert less zombies when crouched or prone. So that is really cool. Let's finish chopping this tree up so we can get some wood so we can make a campfire. Here we go. As you can see, I just got six uh, experience from chopping down this tree. And I'm going to quickly take my flashlight on here. And the tree just disappeared. But here we have some pine logs. We're going to pick those up. Um, I actually don't have space. 
Okay, well, let's salvage some stuff and craft some stuff because we can and we might as well. We don't have quite enough for that yet. All right, I believe it is five logs that we need. Now, as you can see in my inventory right here, there's a bunch of like ones spaces, whether it's just one here, then one here. It can really, it's a really good idea to go through, first of all, to go through and if like we have double binoculars, we don't want that. We just want one. We only want one kitchen knife. We only want one katana. Not really going to use any hammers. Um, just go through uh, our inventory here and see if there's anything bigger that we can scrap. Uh, move this out of the way, for example. Move this up. Move this candy bar over. Just make some more space in general. So here we go. We also got some sticks, but we're not actually going to need those right now. Uh, those are used for other stuff, other crafting stuff. And um, I do believe that if we go into... Sometimes in the crafting, it is easier just to go over and search for campfire. And we have exactly five uh, logs right here. And if it's green, that means we can actually craft this thing. It also shows you what you need to craft something. So if we go into supplies, for example, and here we have a pizza, for example. It's red because it says, well, first off, it requires cooking three. You also need some heat, but you also need dough, cheese, and tomato, which we have. So if you have an ingredient, it's going to show you, hey, you can actually make this using this ingredient, but you need this other stuff too. So the game does help you along. So that is pretty cool. But we're going to go ahead and search up campfire because I don't actually remember in which section here it actually is in. So we will be making the campfire. And don't worry, we will be doing tons of crafting, um, more blueprints, and we're going to make a base and all that good stuff later down the road. So we're going to make a craft a campfire. And as you can see right here, uh, it says the game so registered that we have a campfire in our inventory. And now it says, hey, once you have crafting three, you'll be able to make an oven, though you do need some more metal sheets. For example, so that is really cool right there. So the game does help you um, to see what you need for to craft other stuff. I'm going to. Hmm, I want the high ground, so I think I'm gonna smack down my campfire right here. You see, some maps have like bears and wolves, and I don't know what this map has, so I'm just going to right click my campfire and I'm going to equip it and you can see this like green blueprint and it shows us where it's going to be placed in the world and once you're happy with it you can also rotate it by holding down right click like so and once we're happy with it just left click to place and there we go it doesn't actually burn any fuel so that's pretty cool we can extinguish and light it and it gives us a little bit of light the moon is going down so that means the sun hopefully will be coming up fairly soon um so yeah i am just going to hang out over here and by the way trees do grow back so don't worry about that um so yeah i'm just going to sit right here Actually, another thing you can do, which button is that? I'm not sure what's going on here. Usually it is the C button, but if you hold down C, you can actually change the way that the expression on your face. So that is another thing. I was looking for a sitting uh, position, um, but I don't know why that button doesn't show up right here, but that's fine. I'll fiddle with that another time. I'm just going to crouch here and yeah, I will be back once the sun has uh, come up. So yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take a nap. How about that? Just gonna take a nap and wait for the sun to come up. So yeah, see you in just a bit. <sighs> All right, the sun is not quite up yet, as you can see, the moon is still going down, but there is enough daylight so we can see. Okay, so I'm actually going to move out because I need some water and my water situation does not look that great. I don't think I have any purification tablets if we go into crafting and go into repair. Our water should show up, yep, right down here. It says we're missing purification tablets, all that we need. Uh, one purification tablet right here. 
we don't have that so unfortunately i do think that i might have to drink this grape juice without purifying it and it is going to lower my immunity yeah that's not too great but it is going to get us a little bit further so hopefully we will find another town um where we can actually get some yeah get some water because this this 10 percent of water right here is not going to be that great um so yeah let's get going so the campfire you can pick that up you can pick it back up so hold down f and it picks it up and we can use it later on i am actually going to re-equip my katana instead of the flashlight just in case and yeah i'm just going to kind of follow the road maybe go off road like over there to head up to the hill just in case there's something else behind the hill um again i have not played the germany map much at all so i have no idea <laughs> where what is and where what is compared to where and what that probably didn't make any sense either but yeah i'm gonna do some exploring and probably time lapse it just so you can see where i'm going and what i'm doing off camera and yeah i'm just gonna climb this thing hopefully be able to see something nope there's absolutely nothing. Let's equip our binoculars. Um, put that to number seven so we can access it easily. Just to see if there should be anything maybe up ahead that might look interesting. Maybe across the river. There's a road over there. I don't see anything at all. I see a cloud. That's going pretty fast. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't see anything except for the town that we just left. So I'm just going to continue on this road here and hope that we find a camp or something. And hopefully I'm not going to run into any wolves or bears or something. I don't know if this map has that again. I haven't played it much. So yeah, yeah, I'm just going to time lapse it and I will be back. Once I found something a little bit more interesting than crossing road. And hopefully we will actually find something pretty soon to help me with my water system or water supply. But yeah, I'm going to speed it up, cut out here, speed it up, and I'll be back once we actually find something interesting. So be right back. All right, just came to an intersection here and I don't know which way I should go. I could go right and hope that the bridge will take me somewhere. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> or I can continue straight. I think I'm going, I thought that was something. I think I'm going to continue straight and hope that it's the right choice. Uh, the right choice would probably have been for me to actually go back to town and had gotten some water or something and then hit it on. But we could, we gotta keep, I, I wanna keep this exciting and we wanna see something new fairly, fairly often, right? So yeah, it's gonna be boring to just loot the same place again and again and again in the first episode. So yeah, that's boring. Um, yeah, I'm gonna keep going here and hopefully that I, I hope that I spot something fairly soon. But again, Germany is one of the larger maps, so yeah, who knows. But yes, I'll be... That looks interesting. Hmm. But yeah, I'll be back. Alright, we just stumbled upon something. And, well, it looks like a farm, and I know it is something with a farm, because those look like some farmer. They look like farmer zombies, because, well, you can see they have a farmer hat, they have farmer stuff on. Yeah, it's basically a farm area thing, and we can see the greenhouses and such. So, yeah, that is actually another way where you can, like, see where you're, what kind of area you're at from the zombies, um... 
what kind of clothes they have on. And these are farmer zombies, so that's pretty interesting. <laughs> All right, uh, excuse me. <clears throat> and as you can see here, it says farmer top as well. Now we don't have a whole lot of inventory space, so I kind of want to craft stuff as we go along here. But yeah, let's loot this place. Um, so yeah, since it is a farm area, okay. ow, I'm actually, I actually got hurt a little bit, oh dear. But yeah, as this is a farm, you're gonna find, of course, seeds and such. I need to actually focus and hope to find water or something. Uh, I'm gonna pick up the potatoes and such as well, because vegetables does actually give you some hydration. So I'm actually just gonna eat this real quick. It's gonna lower my immunity pretty bad, but I don't really have much of a choice here. So I'm just going to eat all of these potatoes. They have some uh, stuff there, some hydration in them. And, oh, hello there. Snagger. I, ooh, planter. That's going to be useful later on. Um, I actually don't like the katana. I feel like it's too slow. So I'm going to equip my kitchen knife again. Farmer hat. Ooh. Farmer hat. Be fancy, I think. Yeah, I like that a lot better than the cap. Let's uh, just get this back up. Uh, ooh, Steely Wheelie Automobile. <laughs> this is mainly used for multiplayer. So if you come across a car that is locked, you can use this to unlock it and steal it. AKA Steely Wheelie Automobile. <laughs> okay, not a whole lot of drinking stuff. 20 gauge shells. This shotgun uses 12 gauge shells, so unless we find a, another shotgun here, it's not going to be that useful. And I just automatically picked or equipped that. That's pretty good, actually. Um, but yeah, again, my water situation is pretty bad. Uh, sports shot magazine. So you can, you can find some guns here at the farm. Not the best, but not the worst either. I mean, yeah. They're not gonna be too bad. Like you can find a shotgun, um, a sports shot as well, and I believe some other civilian rifles as well. Ooh, this is good. One that was actually above 50% as well. I'm gonna drink that right now. Because I don't really wanna drink anything else that is uh, below 50 because of my immunity. Because if my immunity goes below 50%, yeah, it's gonna start lowering or going down automatically and that's gonna be bad um we could use the planter i don't know do i have any fertilizer no i don't but yeah we could use the planter and farm some stuff but it's gonna take a while for plants to grow so yeah goodbye to you i'm gonna pick this stuff up